Hey cruisers! We are road tripping to Dollar Tree. We live in a rural area in California, so we have basically nothing where we live. So it's a long haul, but we decided to make a little event out of it because we've been so encouraged by you guys to do this and you've given us tons of ideas of things to look for at Dollar Tree for a cruise. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna see what we can find. Special shout out and thanks to all the people who were on our live stream musical beanie unboxing who gave me ideas of things to buy or look for at Dollar Tree for the cruise. So we are going to go and look for all of those things. We're gonna look for pop-up hampers, maybe some magnets, um, I love the shower cap shoe cover idea and I don't know what else we're just gonna wing it Hope that it's not crowded because it is a weekend and it's just how it is This is the time that we had to go so let's go check it out and the next time you see me vlogging behind the wheel It's probably gonna be on our embarkation day to our Alaskan cruise So be sure to follow us on cruise tips TV to see how we put all of our Dollar Tree finds into action. See ya! know what they say about shopping on an empty stomach so we have stopped at our favorite roadside seafood restaurant for a cup of chowder shrimp salad and a little nutrition and we are also testing out a new camera and a new mic see you at the Dollar Tree arrived at the Dollar Tree and now I'm going to tell you my dirty little secret. It's not really dirty, but it's a secret. I've never been to a Dollar Tree. I've been to dollar stores, like one dollar only stores, but I've never been to an actual Dollar Tree. Let's go check it out, you guys. So we've decided to go aisle by aisle. We're inside the store and it's really nice and not non-crowded and I've already found two things that I think are awesome for a cruise. The first one is these giant sticky notes. Check these out. They're like extra super big. Am I wrong? Are these not giant sticky notes? These are really cool so I'm getting these. I grabbed a little basket to put things in. And then I saw something else over here too that one of our subscribers suggested and it's these dry erase boards down here. You see these? They have this cute pink one right here. I don't think it's magnetic though, so I don't think I want that style. Let's see if this one's magnetic. Oh, this one comes with magnets. See, there's a couple in the back, so I'm going to get one of those. Perfect. So there's more and more and more birthday decorations over here. Check this out. These little banners could be used if you have somebody in your stateroom celebrating a birthday. They have so much cute stuff, you guys, for grown-ups and kids. And I found this cute thing that reminds me of Cruise Tips TV. They're these coordinated paper cutouts that have absolutely nothing to do with the cruise, but I really like them because they're filmy related, right? Right? I found some of the tea lights that our subscribers suggested to us. So if you're sailing in an inside cabin, you can light up these little bad boys and get a little ambiance in your room. Let me check and see if they have any more of these over here. I swear, oh, they do. They have some of these fun ones. These are like flickering effect. I don't know if I would want a flickering effect in my stateroom, but that's kind of cool. They also have proper night lights. If you wanted to do a night light in your room and you had an extra plug, you could do one of these if you were in an inside cabin just so that you didn't stub your toe <laughs> or whatever. So on our last cruise on Carnival Miracle, they had this crazy deck party where they had all kinds of glow sticks and glow wands and they ran out of them and my son was all bummed. So now I'm always thinking about getting him some glow sticks and sneaking them in the suitcase. Hopefully he can't hear me right now <laughs> and taking them along. So this could be kind of a fun thing. It looks like they have bracelets, necklaces, and um, just plain old glow sticks. I found travel size combs and brushes 
in this section. Now, I know these aren't very fancy, but they have a ton of different choices. If you're trying to kind of downsize your comb or your brush for a cruise, I guess you could get something like this. They're, they're okay. They also have a ton of different hair accessories over here. Loads of headbands, loads of rubber bands, clips, all that kind of stuff. And you could definitely not worry about them getting salty and messed up in the pool if you wanted to go with something kind of cheap. Kind of cool. Oh, cool. You don't need 36 of them, but if you do need some clothespins to keep your curtains closed in your room, they do have packs of them. But the cooler tip is that they have these giant jumbo plastic clothespins. But guess what these could double as, you guys? These could double as towel clips, right? Super, super cool. So these are awesome. A little bit big for packing, but I like that they have kind of a sturdy look and I might actually get a set. Yeah, I'm gonna get a set. Boom. Okay, over to this side. This is like the packing grand poobah area over here. Um, I think it was Pete and Kathy that told us to look for hampers. They have them. They have pop-up hampers in white and it looks like navy here. They also have mesh laundry bags here and they have a laundry bag that you could pack if you wanted to. But then I found this really cool suit storage bag and it's so lightweight, you guys. It's like a poncho. And you could use this to take your suit jacket, your dress clothes, and it says that it um, it guards against dust, moths, and mildew, which I guess really isn't a factor on a cruise, but this could be a really nice lightweight option. They also have vacuum storage bags. I don't know how you get the air out of these, but you probably just roll them to get the air out. So cool stuff, fun packing essentials. We have finally found the samples aisle. So this looks like it's basically the travel aisle. They have every kind of razor you could ever imagine. Well, I shouldn't say that. Every kind of disposable cheapo razor, but what do you expect? It's a dollar store, right? And they have single bars of soap, which we actually do take on every cruise, every kind of soap you could possibly imagine, which is great. And then switching over to the other side, you guys, check out all of this travel size medication that they have. This is a place to come to stock your medicine bag for a cruise. In my medicine bag, I have pain reliever, heartburn medication, I have children's allergy, I have cold medicine, cough drops, I have probably half of the stuff in my medicine bag that's here. And these are really good deals. They actually have brand name Halls cough drops. And I don't know about you, but we actually always take cough drops on a cruise. So I'm probably gonna grab a couple of these. That's pretty cool. Um, one thing I like too, is that they have a lot of smaller bottles of things. This is a pretty nice size bottle of medication that you could pack if you're traveling with a child knowing that they really don't have good supplies for kids. Okay, come on down here. I wanna show you the toothpaste and the toothbrushes. They have, all kinds of normal sized toothbrushes and toothpaste, but then they have those sort of hard to find middle sized toothpaste. You know how you either have normal size, like, you know, big things of toothpaste or you have travel size. These little guys are 1.15 ounces and I find that they'll actually last a whole cruise. So this is going in my bag. Oh, over here, I just found some makeup wipes. Check this out. They have makeup wipes, wipes cotton swabs, and it looks like they even have some cheapo, sorry, I'm going too fast, some cheapo little makeup bags that you could get if you needed something like that. But these are, um, a pack of 30 for a dollar is a really, really good deal for makeup wipes. I think I pay $5 for my Neutrogena brand at home. So those might be nice to have on hand. Score. Caught me by surprise that they actually have antibacterial hand wipes up here. You guys check it out. They have canisters individual packets, which is the type I'm gonna get, and then a whole bunch of different types of liquid hand sanitizers. They have pa giant package travel packs, 40 counts of the antibacterial hand wipes. And then over here, they have even another type of the same kind of wipes. These are little packs of 10 counts. So we'll give these a try and let you guys know what we think about them. They also have Purell hand sanitizing, hand sanitizing wipes, which are great, which we've used before. And they have a whole bunch of different types of lint rollers, which I know some of our subscribers like to pack. Here's another lint roller. I don't usually pack these, but I think it's a great idea. Another tip that we got from someone who was on our live stream today was these shower caps, you guys, for putting your shoes in. So I'm gonna grab some of these and try to pack my shoes in them for our Alaska cruise. And my personal favorite, which might make me a weirdo, I'm a light sensitive sleeper, as you guys know, they have eye masks, sleep masks. So again, these are a little bit on the cheapo side, but I'm not complaining. I'm not sure this is the most efficient place to buy these, but they do have carabiner clips. Two packs 
in, it looks like, a couple of different colors. And of course they have these giant mega carabiners, which you could use if you needed to attach something really big to your backpack. But these aren't bad at two for a dollar. I also saw something else over here that I wanted to show you guys. Where did it go? Oh, it was these bungee cords. Some people use bungee cords um, on a cruise for things like attaching one piece of luggage to another or tying back the drapes in their cabin. We don't usually pack them, but they do have them. And there are six mini bungee cords in here. It's a pretty good deal, don't you think, honey? That's mm -hmm. a good deal. Six, are you looking at them That's like I want those? Oh, suction, yeah. oh yeah, okay. My husband just spotted these suction cup hooks. These could probably go in your shower. And if you had a little clip, you could hang like your washcloth. Or if you had a hole in your toiletry item, um, you could pop it on there, I guess. You could also put these on the back of your bathroom door and make another like place to hang your toiletry bag or a sweater or a robe or a nightgown or whatever. Kind of cool. Good catch, honey. I found these little pouches that you could conceivably store your receipts and things like that in, and they come in some really cute colors. They're little file folders. I think these are really nice. I think this might be something that I'll consider. It looks like this set has little separators, so you could put like your bar receipts, your activity receipts, things like that in there. That's really cute and clever. Also, lately we've discovered using folders on a cruise. I bought something similar to this for my next cruise to kind of keep all my paperwork in. So these are nice, cheap, tons and tons of options. You can go a lot of different directions with it. Okay, over here, they have Sharpies for a dollar, and that is a really good deal. I can tell you it's a good deal because I was just at Rite Aid this morning and I bought a Sharpie for $2.29 or $2.99, so they have these. I use Sharpies on a cruise quite a bit to write sticky notes to my family and things like that, so those are cool. They have tons and tons of different pens and accessories, things like that, and more notepad type items over here, office supplies. They also have, oh you guys, check this out. They have magnetic clips that you could put on your wall. As you know, stateroom walls are magnetic, so this could be kind of cool. I don't feel like they're super strong magnetic hooks, but they might be worth trying for the price. I'm not a big crossword lover, but I've seen tons of people doing their morning crosswords over breakfast in the buffet. They have every type of crossword you could ever imagine, and they have lots and lots of coloring books and things like that for kids. Another thing I would not have expected to see here is an actual full-size book section. I mean, they have like fiction books, they have cookbooks, they have paperbacks. Um, I'm sure this isn't like new release stuff, but it's decent tons and tons of crayons for kids. I'm mean, even seeing mini puzzles. All of this stuff would be really packable. Super cute things for kids. Never even thought about them. Love it. All right, so what do you guys think of my eight item little Dollar Tree haul? Did I do well? Make sure that you leave your favorite Dollar Tree haul tips in the comments below. Thank you so much for coming along with us. If you're thinking about doing this and you have a Dollar Tree in the area, make sure that you go into it with low expectations on what you need to find. Maybe just go in thinking you're gonna look for some little treasures for your cruise, but no expectations. I think that is the key to success. Thanks for watching and until next time, get in gear and get shopping. Bye. On our last Mommy! cruise, oh hello, yeah, on our last cruise on Carnival of Miracle.